What's up, Brighton family? Welcome back to my channel. So today, for you guys, I'm going to be sharing with you some of Dollar Tree's 2021 collection of Valentine's Day decor. And it's my favorite items that I found this year. They do have the stuff that they always carry, like the tinsel hearts and the glittery hearts, the big signs that say love on them. They're still carrying that type of stuff, the little wooden hearts that are great for crafting. They're items that I like, but they're items that I've seen before. These items are new to Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them before, and I'm really excited to share them with you. You guys and I think they're really worth a that dollar especially some of these items where I'm positive I would buy it at like Michael's Hobby Lobby and I would never pay a dollar for it unless it was on clearance after the holiday with this Dollar Tree collection there is a theme of gnomes I feel like Dollar Tree pays attention to uh, the trends of the previous year and like a couple years before um, in terms of Dollar Tree DIY projects on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, I think they pay attention to that because I remember one year everybody was doing Buffalo check items and Dollar Tree didn't really have that. The next year they got a bunch of Buffalo check in. Then red trucks became popular and then the next year Dollar Tree got a bunch of red truck items in and they continued that uh, trend with every release that they've been doing for the holidays. And this time around gnomes. And gnomes have been popular. People using different Dollar Tree products to make gnomes and now they're getting a bunch of gnomes items in so this item I absolutely love it look how cute these are they're just little gnome wall decor pieces you can put them on your wall you can put them on your door you can use these for DIYs which that's what I would use it for I wouldn't necessarily just put this on my wall I think I would get a frame and put that inside of the frame or make a frame somehow and do it that way I do have an idea for these particular ones and I purchased a few because I want to make something I don't know if I'll end up filming yet but here they are they're just so cute I love the color of them they're super vibrant this is well worth that dollar and they're big I don't know exactly what they are I feel like they're at least a foot uh, tall or maybe a little bigger than that before we move on to the next item, Dollar Tree right now is also carrying gnome plushies. I cannot find them at any of the Dollar Trees I went to. You guys sometimes say like, oh you have the best Dollar Tree near you. I have to go to like five different ones, sometimes even like seven different ones just to find what I'm looking for because Dollar Tree, that is the worst part about it. It is not consistent. Not every store is the same. Not every store carries the exact um, same amount of items. I heard it has to do with like the area and what they're into and what like the area tends to sell. I don't know though, but like I have to go to different ones to find what it is that I'm looking for. It's not just always at one that I find everything. It's never like that. I have to go to like multiple Dollar Trees. That's beside the point though. The point is they do have plushies and if you're lucky enough to find them, I suggest getting them when you see them if you want them because I know that they're going to fly off of the shelves. Along with the gnome collection, they have these little galvanized metal hearts that have little gnome pieces on them. So this has three gnomes on it. I love the way that they look. Every time I see three like things next to each other, uh, like three gnomes here or like three characters, three animals, I always think of me and my sisters because there's three of us. Let me know if you like that down in the comments below if there's like three of you siblings. I actually have three siblings and then there's me, but whenever I see like three, I think of me and my sisters, especially since all our birthdays are back to back to back. Um, but then if I see four, I think of my brother. Anyways, let me know if you like that and you're weird like that down in the comments below. Anyway, so yes, there is this one right here and then there is one where it's just one. So like if I put these next to each other, then I think of my brother. Uh, and this one has a little I love you heart versus these. They're just little gnome faces and this is the entire gnome with the heart. What is th There's a fox outside. Then I got this heart right here and it's just little hands, which I assume are little gnome hands and then it's holding the love heart. That's it for the gnome items. Dollar Tree last year got a sweet little miniature set in and it was the cutest thing. Okay, they brought it back, but they brought it back up a notch, which, oh my gosh, they are so cute if you like miniatures. I, I am gonna take the ones I bought last year along with these and I wanna do a little display on top of my credenza because this year for my Valentine's Day decor, I'm going with a sweet thing. So, look at these things. They are adorable. I got this donut shop, which kind of reminds me of The Simpsons for some reason, and I don't know why. Then I got this one that says cotton candy. I love anything having to do with cotton candy. Cotton candy is one of the rare sweets that I do enjoy eating, which is kind of crazy because it's super sweet. Then I got these little donut cars. Look at these things. Oh, I love anything having to do with like donuts, cotton candy, lollipops, anything like that. 
Then I got this cake shop little house. It looks like a, you know what, I don't know if it's supposed to be a cupcake or ice cream, but it looks more like ice cream to me. Then there is this Ferris wheel. It looks like little cupcakes. It is just adorable. There's also this little candy carnival arch. And so I think the theme of this is supposed to be a carnival. So this paired with the items I got last year is going to be perfect. They also have little trays um, that you can place these items on top of if you want to. What I plan on doing is trying to make it look like fake snow or something and put that on my credenza with these little houses. We'll see how that works out. With the miniatures, they have little figurines that can go along with it. They brought back the shakes that they had last year, the little unicorns but what is new this time around are these little cupcakes super cute and then these little macaroons that have one little unicorn inside of there even something as tiny as this can be used in a DIY I used these recently in a Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIY I'll link it down below for you guys and it came out super cute so that's what I mean you can see something and just think outside of the box and you can use it for almost anything you could think of craft wise this is the only item I'm going to share with you guys that isn't Valentine's Day related and the only reason I'm sharing it with you guys is because it's new with the miniature set. It is a little tractor, a little camper, and this camper is bigger than what they normally carry. The camper they get in is usually like that tiny. And then this little like ice cream trailer. These are super cute as well. And you can paint them if you want them to match like the rest of those items. Just get like pink paint, red paint. Something else the Dollar Tree got in new this year and I think is well worth that dollar are these framed images and again it hangs on the wall so it's not an actual frame but it's an image that looks framed. I like the color of the frame. It has that faux wood look. So this one says family is the heart of our home and then this one right here says love makes a house a home and these are the only two that they do have in that I saw. We're going to take a break from the wall arts of course so I can show you this. They have these heart grapevines five for a dollar which is a great price and this type of stuff is great if you're going for a more neutral look if you're not really into the red and pinks of valentine's day and you want more of the neutral stuff this is perfect for it you can use these for garland you can stick this on a mason jar you can make a wreath out of these things they're on the bigger side they're not just tiny little ones this is the only size that i saw that they carry but it is worth that dollar next up they brought out a valentine's day camper last year they had the red truck for valentine's day they have it in this year and you can pair it with a camper if you want to it says follow your heart and there's a bunch of glitter if you do not like all of the glitter you can take some hairspray to it and just really set it into place next up they have this really beautiful finished heart right here with these red and white stripes they have a faux wood look to them and then this little love sign that has a galvanized metal look to it you can take this off and use it on something else if you want to but again it's new to Dollar Tree and something that I think is really worth that buck they have some great DIY wall art products out right now what I mean by that is there's nothing to them you DIY them on your own so they have just a solid heart and this is bigger than the hearts that they carried in the past much bigger than those and then they got two different designs of these hearts that look like wood pieces that are just kind of paired near each other. They have two different hearts like this. They have ones where the lines are horizontal and ones where the lines go vertically. I think these are awesome and if you don't really like the gaps like that you can pair it with the solid heart, put it like that and I like this look much more than just being able to see like right straight through it. So there's that if you're interested. And I love this idea though because this is really good again if you are somebody who doesn't like the red and the pink type of decor you can take these hearts and then just stain them with the wood that you like or paint them with the color you prefer and it's good to go. They've got these tabletop decor pieces in which I love. This one says love and then this one says XOXO. These are the two that I personally saw. Don't know if there are other words but I don't think so because it was a box filled with just these words that I could find and I really like these. These match my type of decor and I have farmhouse type of decor throughout my house. Another DIY piece I love are these just word so it's just a word that says love and these are on the bigger side. They've carried versions in the past. They're a little bit smaller or um, they're like the tabletop decor pieces. This one hangs like this and you can use this for so many different things. But again, it's something that's perfect to customize it to be the type of decor that you need it to be, like that type of look. This year Dollar Tree got some more realistic looking roses in. So they brought back the roses they normally have and I never really buy the red ones because the red ones look super fake to me so I tend to go with the white ones or these really pretty pink ones. I like these ones a lot but they brought in ones that look like this. 
Now you get less um, for a buck. You can see this comes with what is it? It's uh, two, four, six roses on one stem. This comes with three on one stem, and then one only comes with uh, two on one stem. But they look much more realistic, and they have like a different texture to them. This one feels more fake, and this one feels a little bit more real. It's just like a different texture. It doesn't say silk or anything like that. I don't think they're they are silk. They kind of have that vibe of silk flowers, and then the greenery on these is much nicer than the greenery that is on these. So that's another option. You get more bang for your buck with this, that's for sure. But if you want something that has a more realistic look to it, they have these in. This next item I absolutely love. I found these jars at Dollar Tree. I got these ones that say notes of love and then this one that says count your blessings, name them one by one, place them here in time you will see that God has blessed you every day. You can go ahead and place those notes inside of there if you want to. I want to use these to make some DIYs for the kitchen, some Valentine's Day DIYs. I don't want to buy like too much Valentine's Day decor for the kitchen, so we'll see how that works out. But I love the color of this, and I love the little cork on the top. This year, they got these tabletop decor hearts in. I can't get these for a dollar anywhere else. Like the Bullseye Playground, it'd be like $3, and I want to paint these and make them look like candy hearts the conversation heart. You can go ahead, sand off the glitter, and then paint this thing if you want to. That's what I plan on doing. They got clothes pins in that you can use for little gift tags. You can use them in DIYs. I got these ones that have lines that say to, from, and you can write who it's to and who it's from. And then these ones that are just solid red with a gold little heart. Another must have item, anything with the frames and the photos. I found these little photo holders. I got the mason jars and the little red truck. I got four of them to put me, Matt, Cooper, and Pepper's pictures in. And I feel like Valentine's Day is a perfect time to display those pictures because it's like your loved ones, you want them on display. And then, like I said, the picture frames, they have little ones right now that have already some um, Valentine's Day type of wording in them. So this one says, hello, love. And then this one says, trust your journey. But the thing about it is it has that really pretty pink frame. So you can go ahead and put some like um, scrap paper inside of there to cover this up and then like add a little heart to it or a picture inside of there. There's a bunch of things you can do with these frames. And like I said, they are pink. Dollar Tree got new heart picks in this year. This is what they usually have. It's a solid little heart. This time around they have ones that there's like a hole inside of the heart. I really like these. I always use the picks in DIYs every single year. It's usually like 10 for a dollar, 7 for a dollar because they are in different sizes. So this one is 7 pieces. This one is the bigger size that they carry, and usually I think it's like seven of this too, but when you get the smaller ones, it's like ten of them for a dollar. Finally, DIY hearts. Go to Dollar Tree if you need them. Go to Dollar Tree before going to Hobby Lobby, before going to Michael's, before going to Joanne Fabrics, before going to Walmart. You can get the most bang for your buck at Dollar Tree. There's these little heart plaques, a dollar a piece. I bought quite a few of them. So many things you can do with them. Then they've got the little like this one's new this year, but they've got other ones and they've had them in the past year. But it's just like this heart sign. This one says welcome on it and you can take off each individual heart and do something else with them. So I can make a bunch of conversation hearts with this right here. Uh, just take off the lettering, paint it whatever color that I want to. There are seven hearts with this, so seven for a dollar. They even have DIY hearts that are just like six in a pack, five in a pack, and they're just small flat wood pieces. Right here, they got the little DIY heart stickers. These are perfect to stick on mason jars, on little crates. They got new ones that ha have a little arrow that says love. Dollar Tree is just the place to go when you're trying to find items for the holidays. I feel like you go there first and then you go to the other places and then see what you got at Dollar Tree and then what you need to buy somewhere else. So that is it for these must-have items for Valentine's Day 2021 at Dollar Tree. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything that I missed at Dollar Tree it has right now that I didn't personally see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to go take a nap. I am so tired. I don't know why. Maybe because yesterday was New Year's Eve and I stood up late and then Cooper even stood up late because everybody started making noise. So then Cooper woke up and Cooper wanted to fall back asleep and he didn't fall asleep till like 1.30. I'm just really tired so I'm gonna go take a nap thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys all have a great new year I will see you guys next time take care bye